<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome to my 100th YouTube video. So for this milestone marker of a video, I'd like to reflect on where I've come from, where I am, and where I'm going with this channel. Now you may have seen this footage on the why am I doing this video, but basically this whole journey started when I was 12 years old. We had a crappy camera and a good group of friends, and that's when I knew I wanted to work in video production, sketch comedy, that whole kind of world. Then in 2008, it was time to get serious about that decision. I packed up a U-Haul, moved with my great friend Jeff from Uniontown, Pennsylvania, all the way to Los Angeles, California to begin a career in the entertainment industry. When we got here, that's when we uploaded our very first video to YouTube. Me trying to fit into a hefty Ziploc bag. All right, what are you doing, Adam? I'm going to fit into this hefty moving bag. Take one. <laughs> I should have fun with this. <laughs> so it's 2008, we're in LA, things are going great, and then something else would happen that would change the course of my life forever. We went to one of our very first parties in Los Angeles, and at this party, there was a treehouse. So naturally, we got hammered drunk, and we played in the treehouse for hours. And that's where the idea for Reality was born. Three guys living in a treehouse trying to become famous on YouTube. Sounds kind of interesting, doesn't it? We tried shooting different versions of what we thought the show could look like. We had no money, we had no idea what we were doing, but we knew there was something about this idea that we liked. I knew then, right there, I wanted to be a digital content creator. Now I'm looking at my YouTube channel, I got four videos, and I'm like, if I'm gonna be able to sell Triality, I'm gonna have to start building an audience, I'm gonna have to start showing people that I can really shoot or produce or write, whatever. And that's when Did You See That was born. Every Friday, we would drink a case of Coors Original and we would sit down in front of the green screen and talk about things that we saw on the internet. Unfortunately, after spending about $10,000 in beer money, that really didn't pick up the traction we wanted to. But most importantly, it kept us working. It kept me editing, it kept me shooting, it kept me writing. So no regrets there. So fast forward through a couple failed projects, but a couple great efforts and something else would happen that would change my life forever. I was introduced to Casey Neistat. Not personally, but I found him on the internet. He opened me up to daily vlogging and how it could impact your channel in such a positive way. Talk about enhancing your skills tenfold because I took what I learned from Casey in the daily vlog and now I'm starting to mix it with my own style of sketch comedy that I started when I was little and it's all kind of coming together real slowly, but I'm starting to find my voice. I see Casey's doing it daily. Now I'm thinking, what can I find? I need to go shoot anything, something, all the time. And that's when my life changed yet again. One day I walked out of my apartment, saw this crazy ass intersection, pointed my camera and started talking about it. Look at this. Oh yeah, three horns. Take a drink every time you hear a car horn. And then boom, viral. The important part here is that my subscribers overnight went from 60 to 3,000. <laughs> it's happening. I'm building an audience. Okay, let's wrap this up. First of all, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. Thank you for being part of this journey, this magical feeling of productivity and creation. It's glorious. I'm gonna keep going keep uploading. Here's to 100 more videos. Here's to 3,000 more subscribers. And uh, I'll see you at 101. Have a great day, people.